Hey guys. Okay, we are going to do um, the health forms today. So if I log in, go to Builder Dashboard for our Freak Builder Wednesday and go to the checklist under the health form, we've got everything that you're going to need to do. So um, this is a first like a participation agreement, just talks about kind of health risks of going on a trip. Make sure that you click here to sign that you get date of birth correct and the date. Um, this is requesting medical history that um, it can be shared with HXP team members on a need to know basis. Um, and this HIPAA form gives your doctor the right to um, sign our form and confirm your medical history. Um, finally, this is just a sensitive information clause. Um, alongside all of the other forms, make sure that you read through these and, and understand them. Um, we're just going to breeze through them quick today. Okay, so now we're going to do the health history. The first section is physical health. So you can just go through and answer yes or no um, to each of these things. If there is a yes, make sure you type in um, kind of like an explanation, anything like that. Um, but we'll just kind of speed ahead and go through all of these for Wednesday. Um, and you have to click yes or no to all of them. So if you need to go back after the fact and add, you can do so by clicking that button. Um, it asks about relevant surgeries or hospitalizations, um, any medical explanations that you want to talk more about. It's a great place to put anything else. Um, and then mental health, um, it's very similar. If there's a yes to anything again, um, just put that in. You can go through that whole list. Um, same thing, mental health follow-up. Um, this is a great place where you can put medications, um, food allergies, medical allergies, any other allergies, um, and make sure that if you have any food sensitivities that you put it in the food allergies. That's where we will pull um, things out. Okay, um, after you're done with this, you're going to download the health form and send it to your doctor to verify. So you can email it to them, you can bring it to them in person, or you can submit through an online health portal, um, but you can only submit one file. So currently what you're downloading is a PDF. It's got your name, your date of birth, um, and kind of all the explanations for the different things. So place at the bottom for your doctor to um, sign off that everything looks normal and that you're good to go for the trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Um, it's not until you download it that you can move forward and complete. So make sure even if you've downloaded a document before that you get that downloaded so you can move forward. And then we're looking for the following documents, insurance, um, general immunization records, and then that verified health form. So if you don't have insurance for any reason, um, reach out to us or you can put something that just says um, you're self-insured and submit that. And then once you've done that, click submit uploaded insurance card and you'll get that message that you've successfully uploaded it. Um, same thing with immunization records. We're just looking for general things. Um, tetanus is probably the one we end up looking at the most just because of being on a job site. Um, but you're not required to have any immunizations. Um, if you aren't immunized for anything, then you can same thing, put something that says that you um, are not vaccinated against anything and just kind of state that. And then once the doctors filled out the health form, um, make sure that you take their completed health form and get that submitted. Um, they need, you know, the things at the bottom to fill out. Um, and then you should be good to go. Thanks for coming, guys.